Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to uh, multiply two numbers in scientific notation and then put the answer in scientific notation. So a couple things to do before we even start with this. I want to make sure that we have an understanding of what exactly is scientific notation. We use scientific notation when usually we want to write very large or very small numbers. And, and, we, and we can't or we, it's maybe a little bit too difficult to write them in regular decimal notation. So the way we write it is we have A, which is going to be our number, and A has to be between 1 and 10. All right, That's just kind of the following rules that we're going to follow. A has to be between 1 and 10 times 10 raised to um, N, where N is an integer. So if I wanted to say, let's, let's do 20. I know this is a small number, but I kind of want to give you an idea of how we're going to use this. So if I said 20, let's write that scientific notation. I can write that as 2.0. All right, times 10 to the first degree. Because what that's going to tell me is now, if I was to simplify this, if I multiply 10 to the first degree, would be um, that's going to move me over one decimal point times 10. So that's going to just move this the decimal point over one unit to 10. So therefore, I'll be left with is equal to 20. I'll just write 2, 0. And if I wanted to write 200, then I can still, I have to write 2.0, or I have to at least, that A has to be between 1 and 10, and now I'll just write 10 to the second power. Because now for me to get 200, what I'll have to do, 2.0, I'll have to move my decimal point over 2 units, and that will give me 200. And it's going to work the exact same way if we have negative, uh, negative exponents as well. So to figure out what we're going to do, what we need to do is we need to, when you're multiplying scientific notation, we want to make sure that we multiply our a's times our a's. And notice these are both 8.5 and 2.8. Those are both between 1 and 10. I'm going to multiply them, and I will get 23.8. You can go and check your work. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my 10 to the third and 10 to the negative second. And remember, when you multiply exponents, we add their exponents, right? When you multiply numbers, I'm sorry, you multiply numbers with the same base and exponents, you add the exponents. So therefore, I get 23.8 times 10 to the first power. However, this is not scientific notation because this is 23, and 23 is above uh, greater than 10, right? So what I'm going to have to do is, see, I want my decimal point to be right here. Well, I need to rewrite this as 22.38. And I'm going to have to move it over to the left. But remember, uh, to write this, since I'm moving over to the left, I'm going to have to now increase this times 10 to the second power. All right? Because originally, from here, I had to go over 1 right, to get to my answer. To times 10 to the first would give me this answer. Well, now, since I'm moving it to the left, I'm going to have to move over 2 units. So that's why I'm going to write 2.38 times 10 to the second. And that is how you write that uh, multiplication problem in scientific notation. Thanks.